I'm here back again with another video review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Bionicle Titan Axon. So here he is. And a quick backstory on Axon. He was one of the guardians of Voyanui. And also he was good friends with Blue Taka. And for powers, he had immense strength, the ability to create stasis fields, which could freeze things in time and space. He could also shoot weak electric blasts out of his hands and just pure energy out of his hands. And he was, um, when he, he was angry or enraged, his strength would become unstoppable. Also, he had the ability to heal to some degree. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the powers that this guy has. So... Let's take a look at Axon. Now, Axon is just a great figure all around. I'm just going to say it from the start. He is an awesome figure. So, you can just see right here that the way that they created him is kind of like uh, Toa Nuva in the middle over here, where they've kind of given him the same armor, which is pretty interesting. And his color scheme is quite consistent, being of silver red and black now some people might be bothered by the blue pins that they've give, put over here and down here and that doesn't really bother me i feel like it makes them more biomechanical looking now his mask was the mask that oh, mask of truth which allowed him to see through any trickery and tell if someone was lying so it's pretty cool mask useful looks very nice so just taking that off so I can examine that. See, it has a nice little crest at the top. Looks very good. I really like that. So, for his arm construction, it's pretty nice. It's based kind of around using Technic beams and connecting them to Toa Mata hands. Looks really cool. He uses a Toa... Tohordika foot as armor over here, and some Tohometru armor over here. He also has this part over here as his arm, and he has his huge axe, which is just awesome looking. Looks very good. Dual bladed axe. And now when he threw this axe, it could return to him like a boomerang, and he could also shoot energy out of it. So it was pretty cool. And I do like it. They do use a Rakshi staff piece up here. But that's pretty nice. Now his hands just look very good because they had individual finger articulation. So you can see over here that they're all on ball joints over here. He had his thumb. Four fingers. And it looked very good. Allowed for a lot of grip. So you could pick up anything. And for his legs... He uses some Viserac legs over here as armor. So, two for each leg. And on the lower leg here, they use the standard kind of leg piece. And uh, the piston system, before friction joints were ever invented. And this is pretty nice. I like the pistons, always. Gives it more of a biomechanical look, too. So I always like that. So, yeah, that's the um, arms and legs for this guy. Now, for the back, here's how he looks. You can see that he is kind of based around over here, uh, just the standard um, Paraka build, which is interesting. So, you can see that they uses the upper Paraka kind of torso piece, but then they've added some more stuff to it to add the head and keep it in place. And they also have this little beam right here going around. And that's just to make sure that the armor at the front here is not wiggling wiggling around everywhere. And it just keeps its tension so that the armor stays in one spot. Which is quite quite um, innov innov innovative. So it's pretty cool. So that's how he looks. And for posability and articulation... Obviously, he's got the standard articulation, so a bend at the leg over here, and his feet can move, and he has a ball joint over here at the top part of the leg. Head is on a ball joint, but it's kind of stopped, limited from looking up, just because of this part right here. 
His fingers all have individual ball joints and, of course, standard in the arm. Bend over here, ball joint over here, ball joint over here. So it's just a standard, standard articulation and more with the hands. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. So for a comparison, here he is next to Paraka Falk. And you can see that unlike a lot of other titans, like Butaka, he's quite short. So he's actually kind of the same size as a Paraka here. But he makes up for that in just mass and how big he actually is. And for another comparison, here he is with Toa. And this is Jaller. Jaller. See again, same size pretty much. And for a more newer comparison, here he is with Bionicle Generation 2 Kopaka, Master of Ice. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. So quick overview, pros would be the fact that he has this huge axe over here. The other pro would be the consistent color scheme and the lots of articulation. And another pro would probably be the lots of construction that kind of goes on, giving him a lot more of a unique build. So you've got construction up here that makes him unique, construction in the hand, construction back here in the legs, and the feet themselves are huge and just constructed out of Technic beams. And what I mean by that is it's just not normal, just normal limbs, just kind of like that. Everything's constructed out of Technic rods and Technic pins. So, yeah, that's that's Axon. And this is Brick Prime saying, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk.